Hey everybody, Ian Lee here. Hope y'all are doing well. In today's episode, we're going to talk about making an intro using the Barry Harris Scales of Chords. This particular intro that I wrote is um, using the D major 6 diminished scales of chords and one other splash from another scale, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, I'm using primarily, yeah, just drop 3 and uh, drop 2 voicings here. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll play the intro just by itself in the context of it actually leading into a tune right after that. So I'll play it, um, I play the tune Deed I Do in the key of D. So I'll dive into Deed I Do after the intro. Um, and then we'll talk about the, the theory and the workings of this intro so that you can maybe get some inspiration even if you don't use these direct ideas. You can use something uh, maybe some of them to spin off your own creative process, which is always my hope on this channel, okay? All right, so here's the intro. There it is, just on its own. I'm going to play it going into Deed I Do. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because I play that song a little more easy swing. One, two, three, two, three. Uh. Whoops. Well, do I love you? Oh, my. Do I I know what you came for. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into the, the theory of, of, of all this and, and how this all works. Um, you know, how, how I came up with this um, was I was actually practicing doing some borrowing uh, on the uh, soprano voice, so the highest voice in a drop three chord through the D major six diminished scale. And I was playing with some borrowing as I was going through that. And then I think I heard that came up for me. Uh, which is not quite borrowing exactly. I'll get into that in a second. Um, and then the rest just I heard and I took the time to actually work out what I was hearing in my head. So first and foremost, before I go into the rest of this, I want to just encourage you to make music with what you're working on. It's so important and it's so valuable and it's not a waste of your time. It's so important for us to exercise our own creative muscles with this stuff. Um, no matter what stage you're at with any of it, it's like, you know, make some music with it. Even if it's just a quick little... You know, I, mean, I play Deed I Do. You know, just do simple things to get you seeing it in the context of actually playing a song. Because that's what we're going to do with all this, is play beautiful songs that we love to play. Okay, now let's get into the intro and the inner workings here. So I'm starting off with this... This drop three uh, D6 voicing here, based off the 10th fret, root on the 10th fret, based note on the 10th fret. Now, I'm putting in an A flat there, which actually does not belong in the D6 uh, scales of chords. Um, and I can't talk about it theoretically necessarily, I mean I can, but really it's just what I heard as I began to borrow and play with this. So I just went with what I heard, because your ear is always going to be the, the final guide for you. Okay, so now what I did from there is I went, now that B note is a part of D6, and we already have it um, right there, so we're, we're doubling it in the chord. Okay, and then we move down to the, the diminished chord right below that, which exists on the major seventh. We have a diminished note on our highest uh, voice, our uh, soprano voice. And then I borrow that A note right there, where my pinky is, and that in turn is a, uh, a D6, that's part of our VI chord. So that is some true borrowing in the sense. And then I went just to the next chord available, and I played that. But you'll remember I play it more staccato, just a quick little punch. 
So, okay. And then I heard, ba, 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 da. okay, so I found those melody notes. Okay, well that's a diminished note. So I just grabbed the drop two voicing that exists with that. And then again, that's a D6 note, that B, that belongs to D major six. So I went, just a little rhythmic jab there, almost like a big band thing maybe. All right, so it's the same voicing, it's just a different rhythmic feel, okay? And then uh, what did I do there? Right. And that's all just out of the scale. It's just what I heard melodically. We have a D note, a B, and then a G. And the next thing we do is we use a little tritones minor action here, because I'm thinking now A7, essentially, because we want there to be a, a dominant chord to get us back to D. So we're kind of playing with D. And here it'd be like we're playing that, uh, that five chord to get us make us feel like we're resolving back to one to start the song. So we're using tritones minor. This is a B flat minor six chord, and it's in its third inversion, so the sixth is in the bass. It's the same as this shape here, this little half diminished, you know, people call it half diminished, I don't particularly like that. It's a minor seven flat five chord. It's the same as this one here, we just put it here, and when we do string transference, we have to raise um, this um, alto voice uh, up. Okay, and that's that tritones minor concept for any of you any of you that are familiar with that in terms of Barry's thinking. It's a great sound, and then we go that A7. Then you could do a couple things here. You could just do a chromatic approach, or you can go. I'll, I'll put it in context of the intro again. Um, sorry. Right there was tritones minor again back to the A7. Now I'll just do a little chromatic above into the A7. Okay, so nothing really complex going on there if you're familiar with these systems. Just some really simple ideas, but again it, it works in that idea of creating movement and liberating chords and opening them up to all these possibilities. And again, all I'm doing is playing with a D6 diminished scale, uh, playing with some different voicings, some drop voicings. And I just took a melody that I heard and harmonized it. There's a lot of different things we could do here. Like on this, this here, we could, um, we could borrow here if we wanted. We could go, we could borrow in two different voices. I could borrow above here, below here, and that's an E, so I could borrow to the F sharp, I mean, you know, it's pretty weird, but there's a lot of stuff you could do to vary this kind of intro and make a lot of different things out of it. So I hope that this, um, this was helpful and gives you some of your own inspiration and stuff to check out. And the next time you're practicing it, it leads you to um, express and explore your own create creativity with all this stuff, because that's the beauty of it, is it leaves room for so much creativity and, and flow and opportunity. Um, thank you so much for watching. I should appreciate all of y'all. If you did like this video, please do click the like button. It really helps out the channel and helps me to continue growing and uh, offering these videos, as well as su subscribe. That's always appreciated as well if you want to see. I'm currently posting about three times a week. I do a couple of educational videos and I do more of like a contemplative kind of music philosophy video on Sundays. Um, all right, I'll talk to y'all very soon. Have a great rest of your day.